mixing it up for the vacant title. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to ringside to the new Olympic Auditorium for the featured event for the evening. This will be the World Championship bout for the vacated World Boxing Council Super Featherweight title scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing brought to you by Don Fraser Promotions in conjunction with Don King Productions Incorporated. And now presenting the officials all appointed by the World Boxing Council, President in attendance, Jose Suleiman. Also officials in attendance representing the WBC, Bob Bussey and Brad By. Physicians at ringside tonight will be Dr. Bernhard Schwartz, Dr. Michael DeLuca. Timekeeper at the bell, also keeping count of the knockdowns, Aaron Koslow. Judging at ringside, Henry Ellis Prue, Terry Smith, and Vince Delgado. Referee in charge, only conducting the bout for this 12-round feature event, will be John Thomas. Here we go. Introducing to you on my left, fighting out of the black corner, wearing red trunks with black trim, hailing from Culiacan, Sinaloa in Mexico. Weighing in tonight, and even 130 pounds, undefeated, 41 wins without a loss, 37 wins by way of knockout, he is the number two WBC super featherweight in the world, Julio Cesar Chavez. And his opponent fighting out of the white corner, wearing black trunks with white trim, hailing from Guadalajara, Jalisco in Mexico. Weighing in tonight, 129 and three quarter pounds. His record, 28 wins, one loss, one draw, 26 wins by way of knockout. He is the WBC number one super featherweight. Please welcome Mario Azabache Martinez. Referee is John Thomas for this uh, WBC title fight. Okay. Leo Cesar Chavez in the red front. All right. Azabachi Martinez in the dark front, naturally. Olympic Auditorium, downtown Los Angeles, scene of this World Championship go. Fighting for the title vacated by the Macho Man, Hector Camacho. Said he couldn't make 130 pounds, so here we have. Mario Martinez, Black Trunks, weighing 129 and a half against Julio Cesar Chavez, even 130, 12 rounds, first round action. Great opportunity for both of these fighters, Don. Cesar Chavez, a uh, kid has put in his time, has got uh, quite a few fights under his belt, undefeated wanted to break into the world picture a number of times and here is a chance for him to become world champion against young up and coming 19 year old Mario Azabache Martinez. Well certainly this is a uh, surprise in the uh, turn of events. Uh, Camacho was champion a few months ago then suddenly said I can't make the weight and gave the title up for grabs. Uh, Azabache Martinez came along knocked out the number one contender alone the Navarati of the Philippines right here in the Olympic. Very spectacular knockout. Uh, Chavez uh, was number two contender. He undefeated, 41 fights. Uh, both fight fighters agreed to the showdown. Uh, representing the World Boxing Council with uh, President Jose Suleiman. Both fighters from Mexico, each have a large following. The crowd here at the Olympic Auditorium, all 10,000 of them, seems about evenly divided in support of both warriors. First round sort of feeling each other out, huh, Armando? That uh, you would think so. I think they're both going to try and land that hard punch anyway. Both are known for the knockout punch. 
Chavez with 37 knockouts and 41 wins. Martinez with 26 knockouts and 28 wins. Chavez is uh, box twice at the Olympic. Uh, winner both times. Last one was a hard fought 10 rounder over uh, local boy Adrian Ariola. Minute remain here in the first round. No serious damage. Both very cautious. Michael Chavez uh, comes back. Azabachi Martinez. You know, all the fights scheduled for 12 rounds, Don. I'd be surprised if it last last uh, eight rounds. They both are punchers and both look like they're hungry. I don't think uh, there's going to be a score to be tallied at the end of 12 rounds. This is going to end in a knockout. Who will win? I don't know at this point. Well, the well, crowd loved it, huh? That's uh, First round action. Not exactly what you call feeling each other up in the first round. Then we see the corner of Julio Cesar Chavez out of Culiacan, Sinaloa, age 22. I think uh, in terms of what does this mean to each one of these fighters, I think for Chavez especially, being 22 years old, having had 41 fights, been able to remember of name fighters. I think this is the time to make it happen. Mario Martinez there, out of Guadalajara, young, 19-year-old, discovered here at the Olympic Auditorium not too long ago. Has come across with some spectacular knockouts. And here's a chance for him to jump into stardom. Second round, Armando, this WBC uh, Super Featherweight title fight. Four officials, the referee John Thomas of Los Angeles will not score the fight. The three judges, Vince Delgado, Los Angeles, Perry Smith from Sacramento, Henry Ellis, who from Sacramento, will score this under the 10-point uh, loss system. Two young uh, punchers, uh, Mario Asabachi Martinez in the black trunks. Julio Cesar Chavez in the red trunks. Both are gunners, both looking for the knockout. The right hand by Azabachi Martinez, the black trunks. We feel it's a safety measure for the boxers. A couple of good shots by Chavez there. Somebody's going to go. Azabachi Martinez all over Chavez. I think it's going to be a case who's got the chin, who's got the better chin. Exactly. They're both landing some hard punches, Don, I tell you that. As the bunch of catches the right hand, comes back. You know, he gets more dangerous when he's hurt, too, Don, so it's not, it's not necessarily the end for him, either. Armando, they can't go like this. Somebody is going to go down. A minute to go in round number two. It's unlikely, Don. There's just no way. They are hitting awfully hard. They're just winging. 
Armando Wingen. This fight will not go. It's the battle of left hooks and chin. What a fight. Just about 10 seconds remaining, second round. Seems like an eternity. shots in this last round, second round. Came right back. Let me some good up because good left hooks to the jaw of Asabache Martinez. It's going to be a matter of conditioning and the strength of that jaw. Then we see slow-mo and you see uh, Martinez on top of uh, Chavez. But it's give and take. Trading punches. This is, this is also a test of condition, Armando. It is. It's, uh, Conditioning in uh, fortitude, just a little fortitude, Don. Round three of a, of a super exciting title fight, 12 rounds for the vacant WBC. 130-pound title vacated by Macho Bay and Hector Camacho. Azabachi, Mario Martinez in the dark trunks, black trunks. Julio Cesar Chavez, red trunks. Both Mexican nationals fighting for the title, vacant title here before our 10,000 fans at the famous Olympic Auditorium. There goes Chavez on the attack with the left. Pace has been tremendous, punch for punch. doubt Martinez has a punch and he's got a lot of guts but also we have to understand he has a little bit less experience as does Cesar Chavez here so it, it may be a telling factor of the fight wears on down not much for either fighter to figure out styles Armando they're, they're both sluggers any boxing skills they have they've forgotten about Left home. Home is Guadalajara for Martinez, and home uh, for Chavez is Culiacan, down on the coast uh, in Mexico. to pick uh, uh, a winner here in this uh, second, third round, Armando. It's uh, one of those things where you throw your uh, hands up and it's a pretty even fight. It's about 30 seconds here in the third round. Uh, pace has slowed down somewhat from the hectic second round. Seems to me uh, Martinez is landing more blows and might have a slight edge in this round. Good left by Martinez. Another left and right by Martinez in the dark trunks. Left, right. There comes Chavez. Back comes Martinez. I, I would think that Chavez would do better not to be on the ropes, which gives uh, Asabachi Martinez that, uh, that incentive to go after him and, of course, attack on the ropes. It gives him an advantage. But then again, he might be setting Martinez up, too. 
He does not seem to be all that tired right now. Well, that's uh, the corner of uh, Julio Cesar Chavez, manager Ramon Felix. There, we're looking at slow mo and closing seconds of the third as round. See, as we see him on, on the ropes, I think he's trying to make uh, Azabache Martinez miss and then counter with a few punches. Round four. Scheduled 12 rounder for Hector Camacho's vacated uh, super featherweight title. Anybody's fight, Julio uh, Cesar Chavez in the red trunks, Mario Martinez in the black trunks, Don Frazier along with Armando Moniz, here are inside the Olympic Auditorium. Do you, do you see any uh, strategy on the part of either boxer? I think more on the part of Cesar Chavez. Uh, Donnie's, uh, I think this round is taking it to uh, Martinez. He's not going to wait for him. I think it's better for him this way. Martinez, on the other hand, I think what uh, is looking for the short, the short range punching where he puts uh, Chavez against the ropes and, and lands those haymakers. That's what he's used to. Frankly, I think Martinez has been a little spoiled in that most of his fights have been in a knockout, of course, and he's never had to go, say, uh, a few fights where he has to win by boxing his opponent. Well, if either Martinez or Chavez looking for the one punch knockout. I don't think it'll come. They're going to have to use a combination and work hard at it and set their man up. Good left to the face of Chavez by Martinez. One minute remaining here in the fourth round from the auditorium. Good right hand by Martinez. Left by Martinez. Chavez shook. Good right and left. Martinez is coming on. Remember to put a couple of pretty good shots there. Martinez going to win this round with that volley. Very strong finish by Azabachi Martinez. Oh, a good left hook. There's a lot of damage. I think uh, Martinez moving to his left a little bit and then coming back with left hook is uh, working uh, wonders for him. Good showing by Martinez here as round four comes to an end. Around, they've ended the round punching each other like crazy. Then we see the corner of Mario Asabachi Martinez taking care of a slight, slight uh, nick on the top of the right eyebrow. 28 wins, one loss, one draw, 26 knockouts. I don't think the uh, cut will be uh, a problem, and uh, they have a veteran Norman Lockwood in the corner to look after those things. It still can be a factor. Uh, Mar Martinez has not been known to be cutting in the past, and maybe he's not used to that. Here we are, round number five, world title fight, WBC. Super lightweight, junior lightweight championship. Mario Asabachi Martinez in the black trunks out of Guadalajara in Mexico versus Julio Cesar Chavez in the red trunks in Sinaloa. Pretty even fight uh, up to this point, don't you think, Don? Yes, uh, uh, Mondo, because uh, there's been no knockdowns. Nobody actually close to going down, although they've landed uh, plenty of good blows. Now there goes both fighters whipping up the action. Looks like uh, Azabachi Martinez in the uh, black trunks trying to uh, pick his spots. Uh, he uh, seems to be a little more cagey at this stage of the fight, which is the fifth round. I think 
think now the, the ring skills come into being an important factor. Good right hand by Martinez. And there's Chavez's, come on, let's go, let's rumble. Left hook by Martinez. Chavez making a mistake staying on the ropes. Takes the right hand. Chavez needs punching room, and Martinez is not giving him punching room. Well, they're both landing, Don. They're inside, but they're both landing back punches. Back to that in. second round type of action. Chavez asking for more from uh, Azabachi Martinez, and I'm sure he's going to get it. Martinez make, mixing up the attack a little better than Chavez with uh, body punches and head blows. Conditioning will really be a factor in this, Armando. Don't you agree? That's going to be the key to the whole fight. The conditioning. Either that or who does uh, the hardest punch first. I just don't think one punch will do it, but uh, you never can tell. Well, as the fight wears on, Don, one punch can't tell. Can't make a big difference. Both seem uh, evenly matched as far as uh, the heart goes. They're courageous. No backward steps. Good chins. Good left hooks. These exchanges, uh, Martinez seems to just land one or two more than uh, Chavez. Don, somebody paid $100. This fight was worth it. They're getting their money's worth here. When you talk about action-packed fights, this is what it's about. Here we see a valiant, strong Julio Cesar Chavez. Ahora, Cesar Obregón in Sonora. Not making his home in Culiacán in Sinaloa. Come up to the sixth round in uh, anybody's fight and an hard one to score. And what an example of slow motion there of some uh, right hands landing at the same time.
Kevin, uh, you just joined us, a uh, scheduled 12 rounder for Hector Camacho's vacated WBC Super Featherweight title. Two youngsters out of Mexico, Mario Martinez in the back front, Julio Cesar Chavez in the red front. Big crowd here at the Olympic Auditorium. been a seesaw type of fight, Armando. First one, the other taking uh, charge. Taking charge. I see uh, Martinez trying to come on to this round and try and take a play away from, our, uh, from Chavez. Chavez is fighting a, a pretty smart fight right now. Martinez, Martinez got over the right eye, Armando, and... Uh, I believe it's, or it's his nose. Maybe it's his nose. And Martinez is going to have to pick up uh, uh, the attack and uh, take up some chances. back to that punch for punch. Uh, you hit me, I hit you, and who's got the best chin? It looks as though Martinez is uh, taking most of the hard shots here. He's throwing a lot of punches, but he's only taking a lot of, hard, a lot of hard shots here. Good left hook by Martinez. Right hand. Travis takes it. Travis comes back. Somebody's gonna go. Ooh, I don't know. Now it's chin, heart, conditioning, everything put into a package. The fittest only will survive this. What a slugfest on! Oh, what a fight! Uh, the crowd loves it. And these kids are giving it their all and both so determined to win. And both land. Pero con un enorme corazón. En un dramático, dramático séptimo round que está por terminar. La ovación que usted escucha es a la dramática enjundia profesional de Azabache Martínez. Allá va el doctor Schwartz a su esquina. Realmente no creemos que pare la pelea, la cortada es en la boca. La que produjo la tremenda hemorragia. Ahí está el doctor Schwartz llamando al referee. Y... Pues parece que la pelea va a continuar. Así es. Aquí van al octavo round. La cortada de Azabaches en la boca o en el labio. Es, hay, hay tanta sangre que no se alcanza a ver. Y ahí se lleva una sólida derecha y luego derecha e izquierda. Pero Chávez a finales del round anterior estaba cometiendo el error de engolosinarse y se llevó duros golpes de Azabache. Deben haberle advertido contra eso en su esquina en el descanso. Dramatic fight. Mario Martinez's face is a mask of blood. But he won't give up. He never will. He's losing, but he's fighting his heart out.
No, no puede el referee detener la pelea como piden algunos, pues está yendo para adelante a Zabache, está tirando golpes. Es una pelea de campeonato del mundo. Y la cortada, por más espectacular que es, provoca mucha sangre, no es peligrosa. La de la boca, la de la ceja tal vez. Ahí está Zabache conectando combinación. Pero responde Chávez y conecta cuatro golpes consecutivos a la cabeza de Azabache Martínez. Implacable Chávez. Una y otra vez. Y ahora sí creo que el referee está cerca de detener. Quedan todavía más de 40 segundos de este octavo round. Los dos están visiblemente cansados, pero la precisión de Chávez es increíble. No falla un golpe. Y ya no los tira fuerte, pero de cualquier forma llegan. Se acabó la pelea. Se acabó la pelea. El referee John Thomas... Da por terminado el pleito y Julio César Chávez se corona como nuevo campeón del mundo de los pesos ligeros junior. Julio César Chávez es el sucesor de Héctor Macho Camacho en el título mundial de los pesos ligeros junior. The outcome look inevitable from the fifth round on. Finally the referee stopped the fight. And Julio Cesar Chavez is the new champion of the world of the World Boxing Council in the junior lightweight division. Well, fans, at the end of round number eight, referee in charge, John Thomas stopping the contest, winner by knockout, and the new World Boxing Council super featherweight champion of the world, Julio 